make a video on what I think about Dax Flame. I think Dax Flame is fake in it. His autism and everything like that. I think he's just doing it to get subscribers. And what a great way to do it. What a great way to suck us some idiots in into watching him. Like Dax Flame. It's like somebody I know. And yes, Mia Sansom. Yeah, like you were um you were saying you were even unsure if he was uh fake or real. Um and I kinda contemplated it too, but um But yeah. I'm pretty sure this guy's faking it. He has about, let's see, 90,075. And he's a director. He's got these video titles like, I refuse to eat at Chick-fil-A. Who, who would care about stuff like this, really? I just got back from the mall, and when I was there, I, when I was at the food court, I, um, the food court is where you just, you know, you eat your food, they, there's a bunch of restaurants, and so my mom was sitting Yeah, there's down, a bunch of restaurants. I went to the Duh. Chick-fil-A line, and, um, while I was waiting in line, and then while I was waiting for, to get my sandwich and my drink. Just examples oh, of videos like this he does. I refuse to eat a Chick-fil-A. That's not vertebrated. Um, but it says something like that. And so I'm looking at this sign, and I'm looking at it. And you know, at first I'm just like, oh, oh, and a key. This is a key. It's a cow standing up, and it has, it's, the cow is wearing a wig. And the cow is wearing a wig? Like oh dress, my god. Like, a, like, it's supposed to look like George. I, um, I never really spent okay. tons of time watching his videos um, because. It just looked like it was something I couldn't ever watch, and now I guess I know why. Um, I guess he's proud of his awards here. Most subscribed all-time of partners. Uh, he's a YouTube partner. He can't be real. I mean, I just look over him, and I look at real people who have Asperger's or other autistic symptoms, and... I don't see how how they make videos like he does, you know what I mean? I don't it just seems to be a thing to make money off. My bad dream causes me to get grounded. This isn't as bad as Fred, but it's still in the lame category. I don't know. It's funny in a stupid kind of way, I think. I think you could laugh at this, but I don't know. It just seems stupid to me. That's a bad way to make money, too. I mean, it's like, it's like he's making fun of people. And, um, and if he's real, I would be shocked if his whole thing here is real, personally. I just, I just can't see how. But anyways, for those of you who are going to decide to hate on me for this video and stuff like that, I just have to say that, just think about what you're watching, too. You know, some of these things that... They might be entertaining, but I know that some of these YouTube fanatics still come on here to watch videos like this, and they will, um, and they will like worship the ground people like him walk on. <coughs> I always find better videos with people with less subscribers, anyway. So it's nothing to do with Dax Flame, also, but I find that many video subscribers, people with many subscribers and whatnot. 
don't produce the greatest videos. I think if you're in the 1,000 and below category, you're pretty good. That's just how I see it. But when you go way up in the subscribers list, a lot of the stuff gets, it's not even worth watching it. I find many gems in the 1,000 and below, to be honest. When it goes way up like that, my interest gets shut off. It's like, look at Fred. He has like 500,000 subscribers or something. He's got tons. And he's the worst. But Dax Flame, I mean, he's still up there, I think. But I just can't get into stuff like this. I don't know what it is, but... Before you tell me that I'm some fat guy who goes around criticizing people, look in your own backyard, pal. You know, it's like, it's like to those that, you know. Um, hi everyone. And he's got this video that automatically comes on, but, um. I accidentally stole an iPod. It's just amazing the shit people will watch. His video test. I'm going to New York. New York. New York. New York. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. Jew York, Jew York. <laughs> but anyway, grounded for no reason. I bought a car. Insane mom and managers. Lunch money and getting managers. Rude girl and boy, new girlfriend. I guess if you're looking for a quick fix, you can get a couple laughs, but... If you're going to sit here all day and watch Dax Flame, not allowed, and it is not constructive. <laughs> and I'm kind of wound up. But. Wedding crashed by idiot and rebelling for making my own clothes. <laughs> I get a kick out of this because it's so stupid, it's funny. Really. Yesterday. He's faking it. He is. How I'm dressed right now. <laughs> Look at this. He taped his pants together. <laughs> what the fuck is this fucking shit? Oh my god. And if you Dax Flame people want to fucking bash me, then go eat a dick. And the reason I didn't make a blog yesterday. <laughs> now he, has, he threw something against the wall. This is... Oh man. You know what? I can't even be bothered thinking about this anymore. I just had to go on a rant because Dax Flame is, is just... He's fake. He's a fraud. And that's it. And he's trying to make money. The end.